Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. You're speeding down a country road, late at night, through a slowly building fog. Speeding because you're tired and you want to get home. Normally, you wouldn't even be here, but a colleague suggested this shortcut. You're a lawyer at a firm that deals with work injuries, involuntary manslaughter, car accidents, and the like. Despite having your headlights on, visibility is starting to cut out as the fog slowly gets thicker. You're just beginning to consider slowing down when your phone rings, interrupting your thoughts. The man on the other end is gibbering about having been in some sort of car accident. You get calls like this all the time. The man is panicky, as they always are, and you're waiting for him to take a breath so you can ask who he is. The man's voice suddenly stops, but you sense there's something wrong, and so you don't say anything. After several seconds, he whispers in an obviously terrified voice, Who is this? You're about to answer when suddenly, out of the fog, a body approaches and strikes your car. You slam on the brakes as the body arches away and disappears into the fog. You just hit someone with your car. This is bad. You were speeding through a fog with no visibility while talking on a cell phone. Your firm handles cases like this, but all you can really do right now is damage control. You start racking your brain, looking for an excuse that a court might buy. When the thought comes to you, you may have just killed someone. You jump out of your car and, hanging up on whoever had called you frantically trying to dial your law firm's senior partner. Really, you're just punching numbers at this point. You're pretty panicky and you just run straight ahead looking for the body to see if whoever you hit is still alive. The phone picks up on the other end and you say, Oh my god, I just hit somebody with my car. I might have killed him. There's this fog and it's dark and I didn't see him and I, I might have killed a man. What do I do? I can't find his body because of the fog. What do I do? You babble on for a few more seconds as you run down the road looking for the body. And suddenly, you stop talking because you experience a shock of deja vu. Not a sense of it, but definitely a shock. The words that you're saying, the panicky, desperate descriptions that you're giving over the phone, these are the words that you heard right before you hit the man. This is the phone call you received while driving down the road in the fog. And into the phone, you whisper, Who is this? On the other end, you hear a sharp bark and the sound of tires squealing. Several seconds of dead silence, then a car door opening, and the phone goes dead. And where is that damn body? You should have found it by now. You turn around to see how far you've come from your car. You can see the headlights about 15 meters away. And they're getting closer. So stay scary, wildlings. Please keep off the phone while you're driving and make the most of your nights.